crescendo, ok? Two, three, four. British style brass band came out of instruments invented by Adolf Sax, the same guy that invented the saxophone, the Belgian instrument maker. And he wanted to make a whole series of brass instruments that start narrow and gradually taper out. This was new because the trumpet, the trombone and the French horn were what's called cylindrical bore. They stay the same all the way round except for the last few inches. So the whole family of instruments in a brass band, the cornet, the flugel horn, the tenor horn, sometimes that's called the uh, alto horn in E-flat, the baritone euphonium, uh, the E-flat bass and the B-flat bass, these are all what we call conical bore sax horns because they all start thin and they gradually taper out. And that's what leads to this incredibly warm, rich sound that a brass band gives. The trombones are the only conical bore instruments, so the trombones add, they have a very different sound to the rest of the band in a sense. It's almost like the trombones are the brass section within a brass band, because everybody else has got this incredibly warm, rich tone. This, this type of brass band has been around for roughly 170 years. It started in the middle of the 19th century. Um, it took off in the north of England where a lot of the miners and, and working class people could get their hands on these instruments and could get good real quick. So it really took off. There were thousands of bands and many thousands of people that were in the audience. And because they were really the iPod of the day, they would literally play funerals, weddings, political rallies, opening of bridges. They served the entire community. And there was a similar tradition actually in America too. Smaller, they were more like 12-piece brass groups, but from about 1810 to the outbreak of the First World War, every single town, 40 million Americans in, in the turn of the century, one million of them played brass instruments. That's a big percentage. So that was really the music of America, even before Sousa and the concert bands. If you come to the show, you're going to hear a really wonderful arrangement of different types of music. We're going to do everything from Dave Brubeck, um, his Blue Rondo a la Turks, and, which is some jazz, um, to MacArthur Park, which is, uh, you know, again, it's a sort of a jazz-based uh, piece, to some Celtic music, Hymn of the Highlands, which is like river dance, um, to this incredible masterpiece, Resurgum, which is one of the great pieces of brass band music by Eric Ball, the legendary composer. So we try to put something for everybody into the concert, uh, something that will meet everybody's taste. We're even doing some bark, but disco version. <laughs> so that should be a nice surprise. <laughs>